Hi, I'm Emily Beachy, the creative director for Heartfelt Creations. Today I'm going to teach you how to make lifelike roses using our vintage floret stamps and dies. So let's get started. So this is a completed layout using the vintage florets and creating real life roses. And as you can see, you can create very amazing buds all the way to a full rose. The flowers were stamped with a brown color box ink and cut out with the coordinating dies and now I'm just sponging the edges a little bit with a pink pastel ink to get a little bit of color into this rose. Um, if you're not familiar with stamping our flowers and cutting them out with the dies, I recommend watching the video called Matching the Stamps and Dies. So we'll just give this some color. So as you can see it was a quick color application to the tips of the flower and then the other flowers up here I've colored and shaped a little bit already but to shape these flowers all I did was I used my stylus on this soft molding mat and just went in a circular motion along the back and then I flipped it around and pressed down in the middle and that kind of starts the shape of our rose. Now we're ready to glue these flowers together to form our rose. To start creating the rose you'll want to make the rosebud first so to start that, what you'll want to do is use your stylus and kind of press down in the center of this flower and that kind of just brings those petals up a little bit. And then to glue this rose together, I like to use a hot glue gun. So we'll just add a little bit of glue in the middle and kind of bring it all the way up to two petals. We're just gluing two petals together for the beginning to get this started. So we'll bring these two up and you kind of want to create a circular center and you want to work fast enough so the hot glue doesn't dry on you but you want it to dry pretty fast so that those petals stick together so I'll just kind of hold that for a little bit until that glue is set and if you have a glue at home that dries pretty quickly you could use that too but for myself I found that the hot glue works the best so that's kind of set together there now you've got these, I guess, three wings left and we'll just put a little bit of glue on every one of these petals. And actually I'm just going to do it on these two so that my glue doesn't dry and then we'll fold the last petal up. So we'll just kind of bring this up and push it around that one petal. And you can kind of see how that's starting to form that bud and just hold it in place that's set and now we're ready to glue that last petal on. So with the vintage florette the petals are a little bit deeper and longer so that really gives you the ability to just create amazing real-life roses. To get to create a full flower, I like to use two of every size that you want to use. So that is all set. So that's flower number one. And I'm using the very same size to, for the second layer. So the second layer will repeat what we did the first time. It's pressed down in the middle. And then I'm going to, again, just put like glue on two petals. You basically just want to add enough glue so that you can work before it dries. When you bring this up, you'll kind of want to make sure that the petals are a little bit offset from each other or from the first layer. So you'll bring, pull that up and you'll want to make sure that it's still kind of looking circular in the middle. So those two petals are glued together and then we're going to bring up the next two petals over here. The first time, time you do this you might think it's a little bit awkward but once you get the hang of it it's a really simple process to do. Just pull those two together and then I'm just going to move this around and hold that in place and glue this last petal up. Okay, let's bring that up and that forms our bud. Just kind of peel off the excess glue if you have some. 
Now at this point, on this layout that I had shown earlier, we used a lot of little flowers like this. There's also a die in the um, Vintage Fret collection that looks like this. And you can actually glue this right to that flower and you have like a rose leaf in the background that's really pretty just glued together like that. But we are going to make this into a bigger flower. So to get our next size, um, let's just press this down a little bit more in the center. And again, glue a little bit on each flower. For this one, I put my glue on each petal, just more towards the bottom. So that's completely covered. And then make sure when you lay this on top, that this petal is offset from this petal. So we'll kind of twist that around and just kind of pull this up and in like this and just hold that in place until that's dry. And once that's dry, we're going to shape these tips a little bit. Just kind of press it in, hold it tight. And so that feels dry. And then to make this look more real lifelike, I'll just kind of fold those petals backward. And you can kind of just be a little bit rough with it. Like that. Okay, that looks good. Every rose turns out differently, so it's always fun to see how the finish process is going to, or the finished rose is going to look. So this one is the same size as the last layer. So we're just going to put same process, a little bit of glue on every petal. And then it's a little bit easier to see right now, but we'll offset these two petals with this one and just pull that up. And again, just kind of pull those petals upward. If you, if you do two of one size, it really what it does is it makes a fuller flower and it makes it stand better on its, on its own. So we've got that in there. I'm just going to hold that together. And then, again, just pull those petals back. Kind of wrinkle them up like a real rose. Do that on each petal. Okay. Now we're moving up to the next size which this is the second to the largest. And you can use as many different sizes as you want. The more sizes you use, the bigger the, your rows will be. But I used, started with the second to the largest and then used the three, so it's three sizes. So we'll again just add some glue to each of those petals and offset this petal and just pull those up. Just kind of squish them together. With the hot glue it fastens quickly, quick enough and then you can kind of just move on with your rose. So you can even use the tip of your stylus to just kind of pull some of those petals backwards so it makes it look like a real live rose. Do this one a little bit. Okay, so there we've got that size on, and this is the last one we're going to add for this flower. Just add that glue in there, and if you're not comfortable adding this much glue on at one time, you can also just glue half of the flower and then go to the next half. Okay, so we're ready for our last layer. The key to this is just make sure that you're rotating and offsetting the petals. That just really makes it you have a very nice flower. So that seems to be stuck well. So we'll just finish this off by shaping those. Just pull that up that if you offset the petals it makes that there's no gaps in the flower and there you've got your rose. So this one looks like this 
this is the one I just did prior to the video. So as you can see, every rose has its own unique look and feel. So now I'll show you a little bit more close-ups on some of the actual finished roses on the layout. So this is a large rose that we just finished making, and then this is just a smaller version of it. Here's a bud, and then over here you see a, a smaller um, area with the smaller buds nestled in with the leaves. This is a cluster of roses grouped together for a card, or you could also use this as a layout, but here she used the larger flowers and then a lot of little buds along with the leaves to finish this off. So it makes a wonderful real life like rose for any occasion that you're working with. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great time creating your own unique roses and remember these won't wilt, so it's worth it. If you need more inspiration, please visit our website at heartfeltcreations.us. Until next time, happy stamping and scrapbooking.